Welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. New videos every Sunday and sometimes midweek. Today I'm going to be doing a butterfly from a stencil I'm going to be cutting out. So this is the stencil I've drawn on a piece of sticky back plastic or fablon. And when it's stuck on to the UPO paper and the background's put on, it will um, create a silhouette, a white silhouette. So I'm putting the background on, I'm going for a green background now. So that's rainforest green with some sun bright yellow and some white. And what I'm gonna do here is put plenty of alcohol on it and then give it a little bit of a shake really. So to cover it all up. Now you might be thinking this just looks like a muddy mess, it's awful. Well, that's exactly what I'm looking for at the moment because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scrunch a bit of paper up and then remove a lot of this ink anyway because I want quite a textured background and it'll have stained the UPO paper and I will leave some ink down but it will lighten up dramatically. And as you can see that has changed that quite a lot. So there we go, so that's now um, the background how I want it. So I'm now gonna be lifting the stencil up and I'm gonna apologize for the light. I was sitting and the, I hadn't realized the sun had come out and it was shining through my studio, studio window. So the light is a bit bright in some places. So now I'm painting the flower behind and I've gone over around the edge with a yellow Sharpie to give it some definition and also put some uh, green, light green Sharpie details through the middle of the flower and, and I used a small dotting tool to create the centerpiece. So this is the butterfly. I'm using Baja Blue mixed with a little bit of um, blending solution and actually some white mica. Now, it doesn't really do it justice. You can see me popping the mica in to the Baja Blue now, but it, this the video doesn't really do it justice. But actually, when you see the um, butterfly, it is really quite luminescent and it's actually giving it a real beautiful effect. So now I'm going over it with a little bit of texture, uh, darker colors to give it some contrast. So I've got some quite weak blue, then I've got some a little bit of black there that I'm putting on the body. Again, it's got some uh, white mica in it. And um, the other two colors are Baja Blue, one virtually neat and the other one um, probably 50-50 with blending solution. Now I never go over the, anything with a really dark a really damp wet brush. I always try and knock a bit off because I don't want to drip it over the picture. So uh, there we go. And so as I'm leaning back, I'm obviously blocking the sun coming through the windows and you get a better picture of it. So now I've got a very fine um, permanent marker. I've just decided I need to darken those edges off there, which is what I'm doing. So. Then I've got a very fine permanent marker, which I'll be using to put the veins in of the butterfly in a minute, once I've put these darker um, bits down for the wings. I'm popping a little bit of black in with the um, Baja Blue and the um, mica. And as you can see, it's giving it a contrast there that works quite well. To be honest, if I hadn't put the veins in, I would have still been as happy with this butterfly, but I wanted to give it a bit more detail. So I'm using that now. Now it's dry, it's pushing that other ink out of the way and putting the patterns on the wings that I need. So just to give this a bit more detail. Okay, so there we go. So back in now with this light, uh, with this black, um, permanent marker. Now it doesn't want to draw to start with so I often just dip it in a bit of uh, alcohol as you can see me doing there and then scribble it on the piece of paper that I've got underneath the turntable. There we go, it's coming out nicely now. So I'm putting in some veins. And once they're in I will speed this up a bit um, as well, so you don't have to sit and watch me just putting in veins. Okay, 
There we go, I nearly finished that one. I'm just going to put some detail around the edge of the wing and a little bit more there. Just darken those couple off. Now, I don't want these veins to look as heavy as that. So, what you'll see I will do is I will go over that with a little bit of the mica and the. Um, Baja Blue with alcohol as well to allow that to soften off. I'm just putting the final details on that bottom wing there. I found these really useful, these uh, little very fine um, permanent markers in black. I've got a couple of those. I find them much easier to use than the Sharpie if you want a very fine line. Okay, so I'm just going back in there now with a white paint pen where the um, butterfly would have some white. Again, okay, giving it a little bit more detail. And I found it easier to put the, this detail in first as opposed to um, doing the lines and then putting the detail in. So what I did was the, the other wings, once I've done that first wing, I, I did it uh, the other way around so I've got details going in and then I'll follow the lines and that way the lines don't uh, they're not so symmetrical they're a little bit more what I would consider random so there we go I'm going over that dark black um, fine marker now and soften off those lines and you'll be able to see that that does give it quite a bit of detail Okay, I was running out of it. a bit more mica in there, and I'm putting in some more detail of where it's got some dots on its wing, similar to that. Because the ink underneath it is dry, it um, just pushes it out of the way and gives a nice little pattern. So now I've gone through and done all the wings, I'm now going through and just softening those lines off as well so they're not so harsh and they're getting uh, blended in a little bit more. I'm just put, going to put a little bit of um, some bright yellow in towards the tips of these wings where this butterfly would have a little bit of yellow. A little bit more white. Soften the abdomen up. So it's got a bit of iridescence to it as well. Put its little antenna in. Now that is a sharpie because I want them slightly thicker than what that would do. And here's the stem of the flower. I'm just using rainforest green at the moment to um, if you can hear heavy breathing it's because I've just been out with my dogs and one of them's laying near me and she's a bit out of puff so we've been out running so I'm just going on with a lighter green now with a little bit more of alcohol to allow that to give it a bit more texture and then I'm just going in with some neat alcohol taking it out where I want to take it out to give it some highlights and so it looks like it's a stem with highlights and shadow okay so there's the finished butterfly thank you very much for watching and um, please like subscribe and please leave a comment I love comments thank you very much bye